Uh, this question was asked in TA for 2022 uh, physics paper. And uh, it says that a known inverting amplifier shown in the diagram. And it is the amplifier with finite open loop gain. So the virtual ground concept will not be applicable here. The value of feedback fraction is this 0 0.1 and the gain, if the gain varies, if the open loop gain varies is, uh, in this range, what will be the approximate percentage change in the closed loop gain? So let us say that the potential here is V1 and the potential at this terminal is V2. V2 is V in no matter and this potential is V0, VO, V output. So we know that the amplifier, the op-amp uh, amplifies the difference in this uh, different difference in the uh, input potential. So the output voltage will be equals to the open loop voltage gain that is A into V2 minus V1. And the closed loop voltage gain is given by uh, the output voltage on the input voltage that is Vn. So we have to find Vo in this case and also the V1. So how do we do that? Uh, let's apply the uh, KCL at this junction and the OPEP has very high input impedance so the input current is zero. So if we apply the KCL at this point we will get uh, V1 minus 0 upon R2 plus V1 minus V0 over R1 equals to 0. So we will get V1 1 over R2 plus 1 over R1 equals to VO over R2 V over R1. So V1 uh, will be equals to VO R2 over R1 plus R2 and that is given to be 0 0.1 so this will be 0 0.1 into VO so with this we can calculate V output so V output will be equals to A and V2 V2 is V in minus V1 V1 is 0 0.1 VO so from that uh, VO will be equals to a into V in upon uh, 1 plus 0 0.1 into A. So with this we can calculate the closed loop gain. So closed loop gain is equals to V over V in and that's equals to A V in over 1 plus 0 0.1 A over V in v in when v in cancel out so this will be equals to a over 1 plus 0 0.1 into a now the range of a is from 10 to the 4 to 10 to the power 5 so g will be from 10 to the 4 over 1 plus 10 to the 3 to 10 to the 5 over 1 plus 10 to the 4 so or this will be if we solve this and this turns out to be 9.9900999 and this turns out to be 9.9990001 so what will be the percentage change if let's say this is g1 this is g2 so the percentage change will be g2 minus g1 over g1 into 100 and if we solve this, we will get 0 0.089 so this will be roughly to 0.09% and that's the right answer, thank you.